2022 Sand Scramble out here in Glamis. Best dunes in the world, mixed with the best race. Ready to rip. All right, so we made it out here to Glamis Sand Dunes here in Southern California, and I gotta say, this place is wild. <laughs> I've seen loads of footage of this place growing up, watching it on uh, my old motocross videos, but to be here in person is shocking. This place is like the epitome of sand dunes. There's already a ton of people who've showed up, so I think this is gonna be like one of the biggest turnouts of the season, which will be super cool. Just like community, man, they just keep coming back. People can't get enough of the scrambles, and uh, really excited to meet up with Seth Quintero, one of Red Bull's top athletes, and uh, I know he's been training for Dakar, so I think for him this is gonna be a really fun event, kind of leading up to one of his biggest events of his career. And doing the Dakar, I mean, when you're out there, you really gotta be on your A game at all times, and that pace just isn't worth taking the risk all the time. You could be in these little dunes, and all of a sudden, there's a 100 foot drop. Glamis, from what I've heard, is like very iconic spot. What is your take on this place? Did you grow up riding here a lot? Yeah, I mean, probably I gotta say like, when I turned like 13 or 14 is when I really started coming out here. Okay. Came out here quite a few times, then got pretty busy with racing, so. But this place is, I mean, any moto video or anything cool that you've seen in the dunes has really <laughs> stemmed from this place. Did, so. you, watch, did you grow up watching Krusty? I, Demons yes, of course, of course. Yeah. Of course. Like, I'm actually said, named after Seth Enslow. No way! Yeah. Oh, that is yeah. sick. Fun fact. It's a pretty rare occasion that I get to come out here just because I've been so busy, but this gives me a good excuse to come out and do some racing, but also have some fun. I think I put 100 miles on the car just hanging out with my friends, having a good time, and, and yeah, definitely uh, gets the brain flowing. We're looking at a 745. Start time for heat race number one. We got about 16 in our class for the first heat, so gonna definitely have to go out there, find some lines, and, and go have some fun. But there's a lot of fast dudes out here. Should be a good time, but it's gonna get rowdy. What's it like having your, I mean, you kind of touched on it a little bit, but having your whole family out here at this race? It's nice to have them out. It almost feels like I'm not even racing. Just kind of enjoying being with them, being with the family, and then uh, getting to show them some skills at the end of the day. It's an honor to be his father <laughs> and see him doing what he's doing and, and see how, how far he's come in the industry. And, you know, he's a great little human and I'm very proud of him. The size of that kid's heart, you know, is bigger than a bear, and that's one of the best things I like about him. And he's always wanting to help, always wanting to be involved, whether it's racing against somebody or helping his competitors or helping whoever it is. Competition's tight for this race. I mean, we got a bunch of my friends that I've been racing with for five to 10 years. They're all fast dudes, and everybody's got really nice cars. And it's hard to say who's gonna win this race just because a lot of people don't even know, but it should be a good time regardless. Uh, I think the biggest challenge with this course is trying to remember your lines. Uh, there's not too many dangers, obviously a couple, but the hard part is just going to be like, you know, find the fast lines consistently. Uh, there's a lot of different lines, a lot of different options, and hopefully, uh, you know, we lock them in. Whoa. Hey, should we go over there? Yeah. We're, yeah. One of my favorite things as a father is just seeing how much he helps others in the industry. That's one thing we tell him in life is just be kind and have fun. You know, it'll get you far places. Yeah, Seth, what, what happened over there, man? 
No, we had a guy uh, jump down the dune and roll down the dune at least eight times at the minimum. Now we shut up and he was uh, out cold, but he was good. We, I don't think uh, medical could see him, so we had a couple of racers go over there. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, I think he's all good. The car's not good, so unfortunately his race is done, but as long as he's all good, it's all that matters. Scramble 2022 in Glamis. You can't beat it. The best dunes in the world. Best race in the world. Ready to get after it. Been doing it out here since 1983. So we've been practicing for this event. So we're ready. <laughs> Even though there's not rocks and trees, the track is, it's technical. My nerves are at a thousand right now. I'm totally winging this. The track is gnarly. It's unlike anything I've ever done in my life. All right, so we're here. Start of the main event, Red Bull Sand Scramble. About 36 cars on the line right now. We've got 16 dudes behind me and 15 next to me. It's going to be an all-out war, but it's going to be a fun time. My plan is drive to the finish, go to Oldsmobile Hill after. I'll see you there. I could have won that one. I felt it. I made so many passes. We were moving up pretty good too. I knew I should have never taken that line. Alright dude. Day didn't quite turn out like you wanted it to. What what happened? Yeah, so uh, off the start, had a terrible start. Uh, even the second row basically got in front of me. I think I was like 16th or 17th going up the hill, maybe even further back. I said I was going to go up there, hang out, have a good time, enjoy the race. No, I sent it. And uh, by lap two, we were sitting third. And then uh, went to go jump past someone, landed a little sideways, and then uh, ended up blowing the meat got a flat tire. Damn it. Yeah. It was a lot of fun overall. Now that the race is over, the car's good enough to go, so now I can even go back out and nap on my friends. So can't really beat a, a better place to have a race. Yeah, and what's next for you? Next for me is Dakar. I'm uh, surprised I'm even here, to be honest. Usually at this time, I'm, I'm testing, getting ready for Dakar. I like to have fun with everything that I do. For me, if it's not having fun, it doesn't make sense, then I'm not gonna do it. The sand scramble, you know, the high desert scramble, the stone scramble, all those scrambles like brought me back to understanding how to have fun during a race. Sick, dude. Well, it's been fun hanging out with you this whole season. And, it's been uh, real fun. Until next right. season. Yes.